packaging that we manufacture 100% in our shop. So here is a quick lineup of some of the examples that show the evolution of the Omni packaging. From the beginning of 3D printing some part to the final version of the Omni packaging for the existing Omni, which then also became very similar to the Vong. And then it got us to the point where I was like, you know, the cardboard was kind of nice because it's not plastic, but it just didn't have that premium feel to it. So I was like, well, how can we make it better? And that's when the question came up regarding, well, maybe we get rid of the cardboard. It's a little bit too big and bulky. If we use metal, we can downsize it because we don't need as much wall thickness and we can get it to be much closer to the actual size of the product. And then so we started playing around with metal, downsized the, the cap, 3D printed it to get kind of a feel for what it is. This one looks kind of rough because we did a, a quick machine to put a little bit of texture on it and then I tried to color it all in with a, with a Sharpie, which, believe it or not, Sharpie doesn't bond that well to aluminum. But it just it gave a little bit of an idea of representation in terms of what this packaging could look like. Found a company that could make us some anodized aluminum tubing that was just the right size and that they would make it black for us to begin with. While we were waiting for the uh, actual black anodized tubing to come in, uh, I was working on some methods to darken up the wood. Take the mouthpiece and we put it on our custom design hot plate to burnish it. It's kind of a slow process. If we're really focusing on it, probably be a few hundred. The black tubing was on its way. It's like, well, now how are we going to finish it up? Huh, can we put a laser in our CNC machine? This is the machine that we integrated the laser into to make the Omni packaging. Because then we could machine it, we could put in geometry, we could cut it to length, and we could laser everything in it at the same time. And that's what you'll see here is some of the, the first goes with the laser, just trying to get it dialed in. So we can see we've got various things just kind of lasered all over the place, figuring out where it's gonna go, trying to get the settings just right so we end up with a readable barcode. It was a pretty interesting challenge. The close to production model, you can see that we've got the barcode pretty nice. The machining is pretty consistent. Got the coloration on the wood, pretty nice. And then the final actual device. So we ended up changing the, the logo for the Obsidium just a little bit. Got the machining a lot more consistent. The barcode looking better. And there it is, just that really nice looking device.